Hey everybody, Pear is here. I am gonna take you to, on a POV shot of going into the studio. I'm here to film my Valentine's Day episode. I don't know who's in there. I let my assistant pick the guest. So let's see who it is. Hi, Paris. That's not gonna happen, just so you know. Mm -hmm. Okay, everybody, well, tea time is over for this month. Um, I will pick it up next month with, I think, our St. Patrick's. I'm just gonna put that over there. Perfect. Check on that in about a month. You know, how about if I take you all on an adventure on a tour of the wrestling ring? I bet that would be incredible. Ah! You know you got a window, right? These are nice cars, by the way. Fine. Come up. Come take your shoes off. I'm gonna take my shoes off. Why am I take my shoes off? I'm gonna take my shoes off. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Tea Time with Paris with my special guest, the best J. Cruz. Hi, J. Cruz. Hi, Paris. You, you couldn't get me a saucer? I couldn't be bothered. And what was up with that earlier? What you're talking about? But you're here now, and let's just make the best of it. Mm. You know, Jay Cruz, now that I have you here, I'm sure all my followers are wondering, what is the origin of Jay Cruz? Where did you come from? How did you get involved in wrestling? Mm, okay. So, Jay Cruz's origin is that he's from, uh, for you two or three followers out there, um, we're from, say, Spring Valley, California, okay? Suburb of San Diego, California. You know where San Diego is? Yes. Do you know where Spring Valley is? Yes. Oh, do you? Oh, I'm surprised. Okay. You did your research. Yes. Awesome. Okay, so Spring Valley, California. Um, my or so that's where I'm from. That's where I grew up. That's where I was raised. That's who you can contribute who Jay Cruz became was because the streets of San Diego is not a fun place, but you know, it is what it is. But my love of wrestling came from uh, the two up two thousand two No Way Out. Um, they had uh, Stone Cold versus Triple H in three stages hell match. They had The Rock versus Kurt Angle in the main events. Um, but what really solidified my love for wrestling was the opening match. It was X-Pac, who was by far one of the most underrated wrestlers. Chris Benoit, um, Chris Jericho, and Eddie Guerrero, which, as as I grew up, was my favorite wrestler, Eddie Guerrero. Um, so that's where my love of wrestling came from. Because in a household of mine, you needed escapes. And wrestling was my escape. Did you have a tough childhood? Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean... You have anything, you have everything and anything in San Diego. You have access to anything and everything in San Diego. You know, you know the classic. Oh, my dad hit me. Oh yeah. So what? Oh, there's drugs in my house. Oh yeah. So what? Oh, I was running with the gang. Oh yeah. So what? Okay, cool. Move on. Okay. So, were you involved in a wrestling company in California, or did you only get involved in the current wrestle club when you came to Idaho? I was training with a wrestling company in California, but um, they couldn't handle the best. What brought me up here was uh, was pretty much uh, an escape because living in San Diego, you know, you want to slow down a little bit. You know, you want to be you want to be more than just the millions of people that live there. You know, but moving to Idaho, a little bit more noticed. You're a little bit more like that. The best kind of um, tagline is like a little brighter because there's not really many the best people here. So, me being from California, the best just makes sense. So, how did you find Wrestle Club? Um, funny story actually. Uh, I worked for a company who, uh, Adriel Noctis, um, for all you uh, Wrestle Club historians out there. Um, Adriel Noctis actually is the one that uh, introduced me to Wrestle Club. He told me to come to a show. I came, watched the show. It was uh, a show at Caldwell High. Um, um, and uh, I went, I watched, and I'm watching this product. And I'm like, man, that's rough. Oh, it's rough out there. I saw a ref pin someone with their stomach to the, to the ground. Actually, I think it's the owner of the company. Yeah, that says a lot. Yeah, good job, Patrick Holloway. Um, so he pinned someone with their stomach to the mat. Um, and I saw a guy in gold pants, like, that, you know, just wasn't, call himself the golden boy or something like that, I can't remember. But, 
when I'm sitting there, I told Noctis, I was like, y'all need me. You should go tell promoter, y'all need me. And sure enough, they wanted me to be a part of the product. And here I am now. And how has your experience in club been? Experience in club. Let's let's uh let's take a little trip down uh, memory lane, if you will. Um, debut match, heavyweight title against Garibay. Um, I am the longest reigning the title uh, state champion with 644 days. That's right, longest reigning, the best. Between what years? 2019 and 2021. Wait, wasn't club shut down for COVID? Potato, potato. I'm still the longest reigning. Potato State champion. About the rumble. And your match. How, how are you feeling about that? That was a very topsy-turvy. Mm, topsy-turvy. I was only slightly rooting for you. <laughs> yeah, you always are. That's with unbiased commentary up there. But, um, yeah. No, Outlaw got lucky. That's... He got lucky. He got lucky, and that's that's how we're going to do it. And he got what he deserved. He got what he deserved, which was uh, the best not even have to be a part of a match and eliminating the outlaw. I don't have to be in the Rumble to eliminate the outlaw, because that's exactly what I did. So, he got what he deserved. That's going over the top rope, both feet touching the floor, and now he doesn't get his title shot either. Did it upset you when you saw you weren't the one who did it? It robbed you of some of that joy. Robbed me of some of my joy. What it robbed me is what it robbed me of was a title shot, which is two times, two times now that Outlaw has gone in my way when it comes to me getting my title back or winning the heavyweight title. Okay, because that that rumble solidified me going for any title I wanted to. And Outlaw once again robbed me, robbed me in my heavyweight title match with Damian Black, and now he robbed me. Being in the Rumble, which I would have won. Did you see who was in there? You were in there. I would have won. Okay, that's the whole point. But he robbed me of that. I'm not done with him. I'm not done with his son. I'm not done with either of them. Because we have a long road ahead of us. Outlaw, we have a long road ahead of us. And I'm nowhere done with you or your little boy. Right. Well, with the rumble past us, wait, we wait, can only... Hold on, get... hold on, wait, 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 wait. How was your rumble experience, though? Heard you weren't in there very long. <laughs> like, <laughs> barely, barely any at all. Like, oh, that was a great debut. <laughs> this is cold. Why is this cold? Do you have... Do you even own a saucer besides that one? Do you even own better cups than this? Why is this so small? Oh, my goodness. Like, this is disgusting also what is it like freaking like mint like nasty ah! no no hey 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 oh you always fade in and out during interviews sometimes i might have forgotten my afternoon pill all right everybody well with the rumble behind us we have to look forward into the future our next event is february 24th and we will be at the Expo Idaho Center for the Kids Fair. And who better to tell us about the details than the best J. Cruz? Really? Go ahead. Really? Okay. Here's the details, all you snot-nosed brats and uh, stupid parents out there that are going to bring your kids to this event. We are going to have a match at 12 p.m., at 1 p.m., every hour on the hour for uh, you guys that don't know what every hour on the hour means. Like every 60 minutes, we'll have a match. Okay, so try to remember that. Um, and of course, because it's obviously a West Club event, it's obviously going to be at the Expo Idaho Center, which is going to be a ton of fans. The best will be there because, unlike the rest, I am the best. Well, there you have it. We will see you February 24th at Expo Idaho for the Kids Fair, where you will find the best J. Cruz, Paris on the microphone. But I think that is, I think that is all the time we have today. So I'm Paris. I'm the best J. Cruz. And thank you for joining me for a spot of tea.
Please leave. What? 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 Oh, no! What is that? Holy water. It burns. It means it's working. Ah! <laughs> <laughs>